But with that vicious attack involving a dog and mailman, the shocking video now going viral. The drama unfolding on Detroit's west side. It took an army of neighbors to save that mail carrier. Yeah, we want to warn you, uh, some of this uh, video is disturbing, so be aware of that. It shows, in fact, people using everything from a broom to a trash can, even one of those club steering wheel locks. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live with how they finally got that dog to let go and how that mail carrier is doing tonight, Jennifer Ann. Yeah, as you mentioned, man, that video really intense. This entire situation pretty intense. The good news is the mail carrier is in stable condition, but EMS said that dog bit right through his boot. He has injuries to his hand and his knee as well, and it happened right around here. You can actually see some remnants of some of those tools here on the sidewalk. Even a trash can was used to try to get that dog off the mail carrier. If that army of neighbors hadn't been there to help, who knows what would happen? And again, a warning, this video you're about to see is pretty intense. It's a vicious attack caught on camera, shared thousands of times, yet difficult to watch. It's just after 11 a.m. on Ardmore on Detroit's west side. You can see this large dog latched onto a passing mail carrier and just wouldn't let go. Several neighbors tried to get the dog to release his grip from the 52-year-old man, one using a broom and broom handle, another throwing a garbage can at the dog. Nothing seemed to work, and as the death grip seemed to strengthen on the man's foot, then switched to sinking teeth into the mail carrier's arm, the tactics used on the dog to save this man became much more severe. Now, I'm not going to show you those because it's just too disturbing to watch, but what's important to know, the dog finally released his grip long enough for the mail carrier to get into the car of the man who filmed this entire ordeal, and he was taken to the hospital. Oh, I ain't going nowhere, right here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. No problem, man. You can actually see this is that trash bin that was used to try to get the dog off the mail carrier. You can see it's pretty damaged here, and yet that dog still held on. Now, the USPS, they released a statement just saying thank you to that all of those people who came to the rescue and asking that if you've got a dog to make sure that dog is secure on a leash behind a fence in your home just to protect these mail carriers. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson. Back to you. You're right. It was so disturbing to watch, and even looking at that woman, and thinking that dog could have flipped around and attacked her. So do we know anything about this uh. dog, Jennifer Ann? Was it a stray or what? Yeah, at this point, we do not believe it was a stray. An EMS crew said that there was actually an owner of the dog here on the scene. We do know at this point, though, that animal control has taken possession of the dog just to make sure the neighborhood is safe. Well, thank goodness that man got out of his grips. Thank you so much, Jennifer Ann, for that uh, oh. live report. Oh, is right. Dave.